right? And so they brought this in 1992 to say they are sorry for what they did. One person can read this aloud. Who? The last moment of the anguish of our anguish, anguish of our ancestors. May those who died rest in peace. May those who return find their roots. May hum humanity never again perpetuate. perpetuate such injustice against humanity. We, the living, bow to uphold this. Uphold. Uphold this. Class right here. No, I don't like this clap. Let me teach you. Wait. Wow. 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 Echo, echo, echo city. Echo Simpson. Connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland. I So we had one of the community members uh, coming in with us. His name is Ken. Hi, <laughs> Ninjinabia. Yeah, and then we stopped by this junction, a popular junction called Infantipim Junction. This is Infantipim. Uh, the, one of the, I think it's the first school to be established here in Ghana. Yes, in front of Pim Junction. So we stood here for a while just to, you know, look around. Fortunately, these kids have never been out of their uh, comfort zone, if I should say. And they are pretty much happy being around, you know. Oh. So we took the opportunity, whilst waiting for something, we took the opportunity to walk around. Infantry came down to. Let's go. The car has come. Let's go. Cross. Cross the street. When it comes, cross. Yes, the others are in the car waiting for us. So we have successfully landed in uh, Kakum National Park where we're going to enjoy the canopy walkway. This is the second bus and that's the first bus. Kids are coming out. So, hey, you are not smiling. Why? You are scared. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Yerukwan, you can cry. Hmm? When we when we get on the thing, some people get scared. Remember, you'll be crying. Or you're, or you're normal, eh? But if you take one and you don't want to go again, just come back. Eh? 
Okay. All right. So we are here in the um, Kakum National Park with the students. They are coming to experience for the first time. They look scared because I told them that I'm making noise. Um, some of them look a little bit scared because they're going to go on the canopy walkway. But let's go and share the best experience with you. I do smile with cheese. Cheese. Here's your mother. Yeah. Give it you. Finally made our payments and then we are heading toward the canopy. Um, I can't wait to get the experiences from their faces. How it's gonna look like. Will you cry? <laughs> you will not cry. Okay, yeah, I hear. Okay, let's go. Let's go, in the back, okay? Okay, okay. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Right. Chairman, thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you. Um, this is the exhibition center. And I'm in Exhibition center. But in Brenna as well. Only the one. It's a BPA Kitawa for you to and not of the video man. Zinisis here and ask the official to me. So he's on the moon that he came out to the man. Very much. I'm going to go for him. The man wants to go to the man. He said, I'm going to go for him. He said, I'm going to go for him. Hello. Please talk to me. Our time is up. Okay. All right. Thank you. Let's go. Say thank you to him. Go, go. Eh, uh, so be Let's go. Your time is up. Where are the kids? Some are standing there. Not to be <laughs> so this trip wouldn't have been possible without these lovely teachers in my school. And at the end of the day, we'll be throwing some shots at the beach because we work. We we oh, look at look look at them. <laughs> and at the same time, photographer connecting Africans in the diaspora to the matter. <laughs> Okay, then we'll go meet for the now. Oh, okay. I see. Charlie, no, he's in a big house. Hey, Charlie, Charlie, don't be on top of it. I can't a look up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Charlie. 
Honestly, I'm tired. I will not do this again. <laughs> Next time, we organize for the kids to come all by themselves. Because they are young and energetic. Now enter the Kakumi. And the Kakumi National Park was established in 1950. And officially open. Hey, so we're getting ready. This is our friend Gwedi ABC school. We are here with our chairman, old soldier, never died. Yes, he's the one taking us through this place. And then we are about to start a canopy walkway. So after the first one, these kids said they can't go again. Look at their faces. So I'm taking them and then I'll be back. I think. Ah, I'm taking them. Look at, look at my teachers. <laughs> one relax, relax, relax. What do you think of? Hey. Okay, so they said they can't go, about four of them. So I need to I needed to send them away and then I'll come back and continue. Wow. Look at their faces. No, relax, relax. One black, one black. <laughs> come, 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 come. Don't cry. Don't cry, don't cry. Take it easy, eh? Wait, wait. Don't cry. <laughs> okay, slowly, slowly. One by seven, slowly, eh? Slow. Young boy. That's all. Look up. It's crazy. He said they can't go again. This is the squad who put him go. Look at, look at her face. I'm not <laughs> teasing her, but it's funny. Look at them. She, she, she doesn't even want to look at me. <laughs> uh, this is so interesting. Thank you very much, everybody who's been supporting my school and then the kids embark on this journey uh it's been an awesome one come 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 walk fast yeah <laughs> hey charlotte get back ah they wait for me yes i thought you are you, you are coming here I don't know what's the main show from. Don't look down. I don't know also. <laughs> the squad who couldn't go. Stand here, let me take a picture of you. And one of my teachers, KG, she couldn't also go, so she's going back. <laughs> bye bye. Fahadi. Cross me. Fawunsa. No, no, I have you. I'm not going to go. She couldn't go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going Oh, I want to use this dangerous opportunity because <laughs> it's like kind of dangerous. Come, come. I want to use this opportunity to thank everybody who has supported my school and about 60 children with 10 teachers traveling all the way from the village to come and experience this awesome uh, place. Um, most of you didn't want me to mention your names and I have to respect that. So I want to say thank you to everybody who donated to my school to help us embark on this journey. From here, we're going to the Cape Coast Dungeon and learn more. It was a nice experience. We are done with the canopy walkway. We're heading towards the Cape Coast Dungeon to give them a nice experience. You see, there are a lot of people who are coming here uh, from all over the world, and we happen to be part of it. I'm proud. Look at another school that is also coming to uh, learn the history and then, you know, get familiar with nature. Yes, sir. So we took the chance to go visit one of the radio stations in Cape Coast called Asasi Radio. It's in the middle of the town. So look at them, bunch kids going to just a radio station. Let's see what happens. Let's go. go Pass here, here. I'm happy to see you. I hear you are from Africa. Yes, yes. Uh, 
It's part of the entertainment. As a rule, you know, the work and education was a movie, part of the education. As a rule, you know, the also president of the world, it's part of the education. That means it's a big pass. It is a but yeah, that if it is a journalist, you'll be doing one of these three things, and you might be working here or at a TV station or at a newspaper outlet, anywhere in the media where it's not. So you better show on around. You know, so you better in batches. You better show on around. We wrap up for some more, but for friend and auntie Naiba. My name is Francisca. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, this is Cape Coast. It is the last castle built by the Europeans. The English built this one around 1664. Elmina Castle was built by the Portuguese around 1482. Christian Ball Castle was built by the Danes around 1661. They built the castle as places where they could keep gold, ivory, spices. So the Europeans said they discovered a le another land where they needed people to go work for them. So they came to Africa to get some of the Africans to go work for them. Okay? And that's why we have these three castles still standing. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah, we're going to go there and we're going to talk about what happened in each of the dungeons. Come with me. The floor is slippery. Take your time. Hmm? Come. Take your time. I mean, you can take some videos. Um, you are coming like water. Keep quiet and listen. Okay, we have five rooms in the Mel Slate dungeon, and each of the rooms could hold 150 to 200 people. How many people? One. So we had a three homes there to be the source of life in here for them. Yeah, pretty What you have to do, stand right now, that's where they have to urinate. Dificate and vomit. Do you understand? Yes. So you dificate and you pee here and then you stay here. I call Simpson, connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland. So at the end of the day, you helped feed about 60 people. You helped about 60 students go see, explore uh, nature, explore our heritage, learn about what happened to our forefathers at the castles, and then at the dungeons, and at the uh, uh, canopy walkways and all that. But at the end of the day, we are seated here having fun. Yes, everybody is drinking, everybody is eating. Uh, there are snacks and everything. They are, they are having a cool day. This doesn't really happen to them and they are normal days. Um, I happen to grow up in a city, so I, I, I see a lot of this, but for them, growing up, being born and raised in a rural community, it is difficult for them to get some of these experiences. Yes, uh, there were a couple of questions that the kids were asking. Say, what is this? Say, what is that? They, they, are, they are not privy to seeing some of these things and it's so 
uh, I wouldn't say so unfortunate, but that is where they find themselves. So I want to use this opportunity to thank all of you for donating a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, up to the number of dollars or amount of dollars that was donated for this to happen. Uh, we've gone through the Kakum National Park, the dungeon, went through UCC, we went through, we walked through town a little bit, and then we are here at the beach. Now, after eating, they would have to go down there and just play. Yes, just play in the sun, look at nature, experience nature, and familiarize themselves with nature. So I want to say big thank you for, for making this thing happen. I hope every year we can do it for a certain group of people in my school. Um, is this your first time coming to Cape Coast? So, what is what has been your experience? My experience is the sea. The sea? And the Kakum National Park we went. Okay, it was nice? It was nice. Did you cry? <laughs> no, sir. Okay, it was a nice experience. So, do you think if you get the chance, you'll come back again? Okay, alright, give me go. Okay, thank you guys for supporting us, for making this program a successful one. We say God bless you. Thank you for supporting us. Uh, so we basically come to the end of the day. We took them out in the morning and then we brought them back. Hey! <laughs> yes, so hey, thank you very much. It's been a wonderful day. The whole community is happy, the kids are happy, the teachers are happy. And thank you very much for supporting us. You, you asked me not to mention your names. And I want to say thank you to everybody who donated to this project. We've made it happen. The, the, the parents are happy. Yes, look at them. Yeah, the parents are happy. I'm also happy myself. And I know you are happy seeing this video, watching this video. That is what we are talking about. Yes, madam. Yes, madam. <laughs> <laughs>